guys, my name is Dakota with RAP4, and today we're going to show you the tactical freedom that you have with your A5, with a wide variety of silencers and muzzle brakes for you, and also a wide variety of barrels. Now, you can do any of these modifications with any A5 threaded gun, but today we're going to show you the Titman TCR as our demo. So, a lot of people don't like having the stock barrel in their gun, they like having a more, uh, a more flashy looking barrel. So if you ever wanted to switch it out, you can just as easily just rotate it, just twist it on out, as easy as unscrewing it. We're going to go ahead and go with the 10-inch, uh, 7 8 uh, A5 threaded barrel, and now you see there is a thread on the end of it. And because there's a thread of it, thread on it, we can choose any of these muzzle brakes or any of these silencers that work with the 10 inch barrel. Now any muzzle brake will work with this 10 inch barrel because it doesn't, it doesn't have to go down on the barrel like some of our silencers do. It only has a screw on. Now a silencer that works with, uh, with any thread, with any barrel, is a silencer with the threads on the end of it because it doesn't have to go on the barrel as you can see. Just twist right on. And now we have our silencer. Now, again, it's just a mock silencer, but I would personally want a silencer on it. I think it just makes the gun look cooler and Having a cool gun makes you want to perform better. So, we have four silencers for you to choose from today. This is the Mark 23 SOCOM 2. Uh, threads on the, on the uh, end of it, so you can put it on your 10 inch. Got our other silencer on here. And at the end of the video, I am going to post in the description all the items that I'm showing for you right now. So, let's move on to a silencer that has threads on the inside. So the threads are about right here, which means that it has to, uh, it has to come over the uh, barrel. So, Let's go ahead and veer away from our 10 inch barrel here. We're going to go ahead and go with a, uh, a 16 inch barrel. Now as you can see, this is a much longer barrel. But, with this type of silencer, See how it went all the way down the barrel? A 16 inch is perfect. Maybe you'd like a 14 inch too if you, if you don't like the whole barrel sticking out right here. I for one don't mind, but uh, personal preference. I think the 14 inch would allow it to, the, the silencer to end right here if you prefer that instead. Now earlier I showed the, uh, the SOCOM 1, and that's this guy right here. This is the SOCOM 2. No, sorry, this is the SOCOM 1, this is the SOCOM 2. And uh, SOCOM 1, as I said, has threads on the end, and it works perfectly with the 10-inch barrel. And this one works the best, the SOCOM 1, with the, uh, the 16 or the 14. That's, that's what I like to use the most. Now let's go back to our 10 inch and I'll go ahead and show you uh, all of our muscle brakes that we have for you today. So again you just screw your arrow in. Now th this here is our stiletto muzzle brake. 
has a glass breaker on the end of it. See how it's all sharp? And this will make your gun a little bit louder, not too much, the tiniest bit. And uh, it's just your, as I said earlier, your personal preference on what you want your gun to look like. I'm an example of somebody who uh, performs better when I like the way my gun looks. And I'm sure a lot of you are too. So, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the tutorial and uh, maybe you've discovered something that you might want to purchase in the future. And if you ever have the desire to return your gun to the stock form the way you bought the gun, all you gotta do is just unscrew whatever barrel you bought and reattach the barrel that you bought the gun with. And just like that, it's back to stock. Alright, be sure to like and subscribe and we'll have an update for you later on in the week. Thank you very much, guys.